you want to get a flat belly fast, then this is the workout for you. Hello gorgeous girl, welcome back to my channel and today I've got an incredible Pilates base workout that I know you are going to love. But before we dive into the workout, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about Pilates and why it works so well, why I'm such a huge fan of Pilates. You know, Pilates has been around since the 1920s and it really is one of the best forms of exercise that you can do for your entire life. I mean, when I was teaching Pilates years ago, I had teenagers that I would teach up to women in their mid and late 80s. So you can do this for an entire lifetime because it is gentle on the body, but make no mistakes, it is challenging and you will feel it. So without further ado, let's dive into this Pilates based workout. Make sure to stay to the end because I've got something really juicy for you. Flex through your feet here, lower just the leg farthest away from me down to the floor. So inhale, exhale, bring it up. Good, eight times, and down. Exhale, up, really feel the abs work. And three, exhale, good, that's it. Four, and exhale, good, keep going. Five, you're feeling it, right? And again, and six, me too. And up, that's it, and seven, exhale, good, last one. Exhale, right into the other side. Exhale, pull in the abdominals. And inhale, exhale, pull it in, that's it. Three, and drawing it in, that's it. Four, and in, good. Five, keep it out of the neck and the shoulders. And six, exhale, really feel the belly working here. Seven, pulling in, that's it, last one. Exhale, pull it in. Now curl, lift up your head, place the hands behind your head. Inhale, exhale, other side. Inhale, exhale, we've got it. Inhale, and exhale, you good. And inhale, exhale, that's it. And scoop, pulling it in. And six, try to keep those elbows really wide. One more on each side, exhale, last one here. And exhale, okay, good. Hug the knees into your chest here, good. We're gonna extend the leg closest to me out so it's nice and long. Pull this knee into your chest, just feel a nice stretch here, good. Let's switch to the other side, a nice little uh, stretch. Really pressing that hamstring, the back of the leg into the ground here. Good, pull that first side up again. Now, the hand closest to me is on your knee, the one farthest away is on the ankle. Okay, so outside arm is on the ankle. Lift the other leg up to 45 degrees here. Contract, pull in the belly here. You're gonna exhale, switch, and exhale. We got it. Exhale, and exhale, that's it. And exhale, good, keep going. Exhale, we've got it. Mm-hmm, that's it, and keep going here. Exhale, and again, good, two more. Perfect, last one, and excellent. Bringing the knees in, extend the legs up. Okay, 90 degrees with straight legs if you can. If you can't, don't worry, you can do a little zigzag. Do what's best for you. So bringing those legs up, flex the feet here. You're gonna inhale, lower the legs. Exhale, abdominals, pull the legs back in. Inhale, lower. And exhale, drawing it in. Now, I'm not going very low today because my back is actually a little bit tight on one side. If you can go a little bit lower, great, but you have to listen to your body, okay? You know, normally I can go quite a bit lower than this, but today I'm not pushing it, okay? So you have to do what feels best for you. And exhale, good. Keep going, I'm always holding a 26 pound child on one side of my body and uh, feeling it. And exhale, good, two more here. And inhale, and exhale, very good. Last one here, inhale, and exhale. Okay, good, excellent. Now just bring the soles of the feet together. Let's open our knees out to the side and just breathe here. Just feel the hips opening here, just gentle and easy, okay? I want you to keep the arm closest to me, extended long on the floor. The other hand is behind your head here. We're gonna inhale here, taking a nice deep breath. And exhale, curl and lift up your head. Really feel the waist contracting here, good. And then lower down. Exhale, lift up and then lower, you've got it, good, and lift up. Do you hear my voice shaking? And exhale, four, good, keep going here. This is 
five. Good, we're really working the obliques here. And six, mm-hmm. And again, seven. Stay with me good and strong. This is eight. Perfect, let's do two more. Nine, good, last one. Now stay up here and pulse it. And two, beautiful. Three, really feel those obliques crunching here. And seven, and eight, and nine, and perfect. Okay, good, let's place the other hand behind your head. Other arm is long, we're gonna do it all on the other side. Okay, so inhale here, exhale, lift up, and then lower, that's it. And lift up, and lower, you've got it, good. And three, perfect, and four. Good, really focused work here on the abs. It's our entire focus today, and six. Good, stay with me here, seven. Beautiful oblique, sculpting the waist, getting those lines in our body, two more. Last one, now stay here, keep that elbow wide and pulse it. And two, beautiful work, and three, good. And four, say thank you body, five, and six, that's it. And seven, and eight, and nine, and perfect. Okay, good. I didn't lie, I did not tell you a lie. I told you you were gonna feel it, right? And that's why I just love Pilates so much. And again, I love it because it has that longevity appeal. Whether you're 20, you're 30, you're 40, you're 50, you're 60, 70, 80, 90, whatever, you can do Pilates. So if staying fit for the long term is something that you desire, then I've got a really special invitation for you. You will want to check out my brand new masterclass, Fit and Fab After 40. Look great and feel amazing at any age. It is jam packed full of value for you and I cannot wait to see you there. I will leave that link down below and make sure to say hello when you join me there. But if you wanna keep going, you'll wanna check out this workout next. This is a standing ab sequence that I absolutely know you are going to love. I will see you over there next.